Sometimes even the smallest tools can make all the difference in our craft. Commercials live or die by your ability to make the product look good or provide an interesting perspective that is not often seen. Close-up shots excel in doing just that. They bring us much closer than we'd usually be looking at things, revealing all the details and giving them a sense of importance. While working with watch brands specifically, this became very apparent to me. But few lenses truly excel at capturing beautiful close-ups. The obvious choice would be to get a dedicated macro lens, usually worth the price, but maybe I have a better option for you. I'm a big fan of screw-on filters like ND's. And wouldn't you believe it, there is filters that allow you for a much closer focusing distance with the lenses you already own. Think of them as a magnifying glass that goes in front of your lens. And instead of doing just regular shots like this one, you can now capture footage like this. So I opted out of spending a couple hundred and bought this entire set of close-up filters for just 20 bucks. They come neatly packaged in a soft pouch and offer four different diopter strengths, ranging from plus two to plus 10. I've been using them for about three years at this point, and for what it's worth, they've seen their fair share of paid jobs as well. And there's tons of similar options. Nearly all of them offer the same product with a bit of different packaging. But just 20 bucks, there's gotta be a catch, right? Well, yeah, optical performance will undoubtedly suffer. This is especially apparent at the edges of the frame. The larger the diopter strength, the more optical imperfections like distortion and chromatic aberration will be introduced. So don't expect a result that is as clean as the lens you're pairing them with. However, depending on the shot, this may or may not be a big deal to you. And there's a trick to get cleaner results with them. More on that in a bit. Naturally, I was looking around for alternative solutions and came across this close-up lens from Nisi. I wanted to see whether this could be a worthwhile investment. Nisi Germany and Austria, together with Digital Store Vienna, were kind enough to provide the close-up lens for this review. That said, no money changed hands, I didn't get to keep it, and Nisi didn't get to review the video before release. With this out of the way, let's have a closer look. You can more or less view this as the professional alternative to the cheap filter set I just showed you. Right away, the build quality is very apparent. With much thicker glass and a nice outer ring, the Nisi close-up lens also weighs quite a bit more. This is the largest version of the filter and has a diameter of 77mm. It also comes with two adapter rings for 72 and 67mm out of the box. But what about the optical performance then? The close-up lens only has a diopter strength of plus 5 compared to the plus 10 I showed you earlier. But unlike the cheap alternative, this does not introduce any optical imperfections and the image remains pristine. Distortion and chromatic aberration are not a concern here and I was quite surprised to see the results. Now Nisi specifically recommends using a focal length between 70 and 300 mm on full frame for these lenses. If you already own a telephoto lens, the magnification will quite likely be more than enough for most of your needs. But with modern lenses getting better and better at close focusing, is it really worth the price for such a niche use case? Earlier, I told you that there's a trick to improve your results with cheap close-up filters like the ones I've been using for the past couple of years. And that trick is called clear image zoom. Many modern Sony cameras feature this technology that allows you to zoom in without noticeable quality loss directly in camera. This also means that you can feasibly crop out many of the imperfections of cheap close-up filters and achieve cleaner results that way. But not entirely, and depending on the project you're working on, this could be a deal breaker. I don't intend to sell you anything. Instead, I'll leave you with a few recommendations that could be interesting. If you're a hobbyist who shoots projects for fun, or you do a lot of narrative work that could benefit from unique looks, save yourself some money and get a cheap set of close-up filters. 
They're light, versatile, and spice up just about any project. If you're a professional who does a lot of product work, but you only need a few close-ups here and there, the Nisi close-up lens could be a great addition to your kit. It's well-built, cheaper than a dedicated macro lens, and offers exceptional optical performance. You decide.